What? What? Do you want to tell me why I'm here? I don't know why I'm here. I was minding my own business when Miss Hall told me to come see you. I assumed it was at your request. Did you not want to see me? Because I can go. I'll just go. I don't know why I'm in your office. Why don't you tell me? <sighs> Principal Hogan, I don't know why I'm here. It's a mystery to me. I can't help you if all you do is stare at me. I can wait. I can wait all day. All I have this afternoon is Jim, and I think my feelings on phys ed were made clear last fall. Next, Ms. Ruby. I suppose I was brought in here on some erroneous charge trumped up by Miss Hall. Of course. She hates me. I don't know why. I work quietly in class. I do my homework. I've given up on trying to please her. I think she's jealous of me. That's the only way I can explain it. She's afraid I'm going to go off and do great things while she's never left the classroom in her life. I know that's why she gave me such a bad grade on my story about the mermaid that assassinates the president. Maybe you two are in cahoots. I don't know, I'm not saying it's so, but... Is this lamp always pointed this way? Next, Ms. Ruby. Mind if I smoke? Next, Ms. Ruby. Okay. So let's say that Miss Hall is telling the truth for the first time in her life. Let's say I did do whatever she said I did. If I said I was sorry and promised to never do it again, could we just forget it and not tell my mom? I promise I'll be a model student. Come on, Principal Hogan. I'll do whatever. I'll walk over hot coals. I'll cut off all my hair. I'll self-flagellate. Just don't tell my mom. Final bell. School's out. School's out. And yet we still sit here. Okay. Okay. I think I remember why I'm here. I played a prank on Margaret King. She annoyed me, so I played a trick on her. I'm not proud of myself, but there you have it. I'm sorry, and it will never happen again as long as I live. You want me to elaborate? She was eating a bag of cheesies right in front of me. She knows my mom doesn't let me eat junk food, and she was doing it just to annoy me, stuffing her fat goblin face, the creases of her mouth stained orange by her trailer park manners, her cheeks all puffed out, filled to capacity, sucking cheese off of her sausage fingers, picking her teeth. She's revolting, and she was in my face. I found a chip egg on the playground. I washed it off, went to the sycamore tree at the far corner of the yard, I filled the bag with caterpillars, harmless little caterpillars. Uh, Margaret always wears butterfly barrettes in her hair. You'd think she'd have some affinity for caterpillars. I offered her a cheesy, and you can probably fill in the rest. Stupid Margaret, stripping off her stupid clothes. Better get used to it if she plans to go to college.